Okay guys, so today uh, we won't be talking about anything fancy or um, anything fun. So today uh, we will be uh, expressing our condolences to uh, Choi Su Lee's family, friends, and relatives as well as colleagues. So uh, we're really sad about uh, this loss because um, if you all know or if some of you might not know about Choi Su Lee, Choi Su Lee is a Korean singer songwriter as well as actress she is a member of the group uh, FX if you're uh, into K-pop and it really is sad that uh, we have lost someone who is doing her best to inspire us as well as entertain us so reason for her death uh, points out to depression um, that's usually the reason for uh, for uh, such scenarios to occur and uh, it's from uh, cyberbullying so let's talk about uh, depression so depression is actually a feeling that uh, a certain uh, person undergoes uh, and it gives them the feeling of great sadness as well as loss of interest in everything that happens into uh, their lives or uh, uh, anything and for cyberbullying, uh, it is a form of bullying through uh, uh, media or internet. So it ranges from uh, bad comments, uh, hate speech, or uh, any other forms uh, which is broadcasted uh, all throughout social media. So let's talk about depression. So uh, depression isn't uh, age specific or gender specific or a, uh, any. Uh, uh, nationality specific because uh, it happens to everyone I know someone might be watching uh, this video and is actually undergoing stress and uh, depression and for cyberbullying uh, this has been an ongoing issue because uh, for cyberbullying the reason for cyberbullying uh, starts with uh, jealousy so um, there won't be any cyberbullying if uh, the person who is posting uh, those bad comments aren't jealous because uh, what happens is every time uh, someone who is jealous speaks bad about a certain individual uh, may it be a celebrity or just a normal uh, person uh, usually they feel good because uh, when they talk bad about that certain someone it means that they are better than them uh, because uh, they are not doing those uh, negative things that they're talking uh, are telling others about that certain individual so uh, without jealousy uh, there won't be any cyber, uh, cyber bullying but uh, I guess uh, cyber, uh, jealousy won't be uh, or we can't remove jealousy because uh, it's one of uh, humans nature to be uh, jealous of someone so uh, for this uh, just imagine your jealousy led to someone killing themselves so you might be saying uh, how that the uh, how did that uh, point out to me uh, she was the one who was handling uh, those comments so I'm not uh, I'm not the culprit or I'm not liable to what she did to herself but you're wrong but so for this uh, you might be saying that you're not liable uh, even though you did some uh, harsh comments online but in fact you should feel uh, slightly guilty because without those comments she might be uh, here entertaining people as well as inspiring people there are a lot of people who loves uh, watching her so it's really sad that uh, we have lost someone who is just doing her job to entertain us because you see uh, public figures like uh, them are uh, just doing their jobs to uh, make people smile so imagine how many people would lose someone who uh, just cares for them or uh, someone who uh, does a job just to make other people happy uh, because being a celebrity means that um, you're 
even um, sacrificing your own happiness to make other people's uh, other people happy because there are a lot of celebrities that uh, sometimes are not comfortable or not even happy with what they're doing or what they are told to do because uh, most of them can't say no because their job is to entertain people no matter uh, you're just saying that uh, they are just uh, performing uh, they're not doing anything uh, fancy so they only just have oh they just have the skills which you do not have but you're wrong it's not just performing on stage there's no reason to perform if uh, you're not entertaining someone or you're not making others happy so their uh, a public figures uh, role is to motivate and make you happy so you should be grateful that they are around because without them uh, you will just uh, or there won't be any inspiration because uh, for me uh, when I see a celebrity uh, I really look up to them because they are like uh, the role model that uh, you should follow because some of them are successful some of them are showing off their skills so that you yourself uh, someone who doesn't want or doesn't have the confidence makes you want to feel that uh, you want to be in their place too so that's why uh, they inspire you so that you can also uh, give out your best so enough about uh, uh, that topic so let's get into uh, cyber bullying again so let's get back to the main topic so for this um, some of you might be um, just enjoying posting hate speech because it makes you feel good but do you ever wonder how it would affect their daily life for you it's just words so it really depends on the person and how they handle those uh, harsh words some uh, might just uh, brush it off it's nothing uh, because there's uh, really hate everywhere because it's really hard to forget hatred uh, when you hate someone it's gonna be there uh, from uh, a year a decade even after after 20 years 30 years and so on hate really is hard to forget it's always around us but for love or those kinds of feeling of gratitude uh, they are easily forgotten it's like uh, whenever you help someone once or twice and you did something wrong to them they won't remember the things that you did uh, or the good things that you have done to them they will only remember the bad thing or the bad experience that uh, you have uh, for them so maybe that's uh, the real reason why uh, we are uh, suffering this kind of hate so I'm not saying that uh, I don't hate someone I hate someone but for this topic uh, for cyberbullying why not just do it discreetly instead of posting it through social media in which everyone can uh, actually read your comments why not keep it to yourself or just a small group uh, don't or better not uh, don't let the person that you hate uh, know about it just continue on living because they are not even affecting your life uh, if you might know why should you hate a celebrity if they're not even doing something bad to you did they uh, kick you or uh, they uh, did they beat you up or did they uh, do something wrong or did they embarrass you in public of course no because uh, for them they're just entertaining people so don't hate people if uh, you have to say something bad why not stop posting uh, about it instead keep it for yourself in this way you won't be a criminal because uh, no matter how much you say that 
you're not liable for their death you're still part of it because you were the one who pushed them through the limit or through the edge so uh, I know that uh, some of you might hate me because uh, it's like I'm telling you what to do or what not to do it really depends on you whether you listen or not but uh, as as for this uh, vlog I just want uh, for cyber bullying to end or to be uh, minimal instead because it's affecting other people's lives uh, it's only lucky for others uh, like me I also suffer depression but I have my family and friends who I relied uh, during that time but some doesn't uh isn't lucky enough to have a friend a, a family member that uh, they could share their problems with so for this i really wish that uh if you hate someone why not uh, just stop with the bullying altogether because we can actually continue with our lives without ruining someone's life imagine Choi Suli is actually 25. She has a lot uh, more years uh, ahead of her, which she could have enjoyed or which she could have used to entertain people and motivate people. But here we are now, uh, expressing our sadness of her loss. Some of those uh, who uh, did some hate speech might be uh, suffering from guilt, but come around one to two years uh, it's like nothing happened so for this uh, we just wish that this won't happen to any other uh, personality or celebrity or any regular uh, person so I really wish that uh, you get my message although it's uh, really not that uh, uh, detailed or not that organized because I'm just saying what I feel about this issue because uh, for us really need to uh, stop bullying altogether so uh, that's it guys so I was uh, I'm just uh, expressing myself so um, again uh, thank you for listening for my advice and hope that uh, you uh, make people uh, or minimize uh, the hate and for uh, before I end the video for those who are uh, in the position of the one being bullied so why not do this uh, just ignore what they are saying because people are, are always gonna hate there won't be any uh, or it won't uh, it won't disappear like boom because every day you will always get haters but there are people who uh, you inspire so why not make it your motivation to continue living or continue on doing what you're doing because the haters uh, there's a lot of them but for those who are uh, or for those people who are or who you are inspiring there's also a lot of them so it's better that you're helping those people who are being inspired inspired by you rather than listen to the hate speech which is actually uh not that of a big deal uh, okay so hate speech will be minimized if you ignore them so why not uh uh, uh, kill them with kindness instead so for those people who are hating you why not be kind to them just love them back and I guess uh, there will come a day that that specific hater might stop posting or might stop cyber bullying because you're not affected and instead you're uh, still uh, making sure that uh, you're not uh, fighting back because an issue will die out if you're not being affected by it because if you uh, they sh uh, or if you show that you're affected it means that uh, they uh, what they're doing is working so that gives them the courage to continue on posting hate speech so it, uh, again 
this is Mark the end. Uh, thank you for listening for uh, listening uh, today because uh, I'm just ranting, 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 and ranting. But again, uh, we deeply uh, offer our sincerest uh, condolences to uh, Choi Suli. Okay, guys. So see you in my next vlog.